Hi, and welcome to this guided meditation with me, Esfen Harrigan. The bonus day today, a beautiful bonus day. A beautiful day of more expansion in, in who we are. More uh, joy, more fun, more to observe the newness. It's a new day, new refresh day. So, just go to do something. So good to be here. So I'm just let's see who's jumping on. There's someone here. It's all good. We are having our time, space. That is a gift from our presence. Just taking our moments here. Breathing in and breathing out. It's a new day, refresh day, a loving new day, more to come, more to experience, more to observe, more to feel through your senses. And the more of who we, the feeling of who we are, the better everything else follows in what we observe around us, the nature. The, the natural well-being it's like it's tuning in everything else in who you are in what you observe what you sense in when you breathe everything you you are conscious aware of it's bringing that energy to you and through you more and more in feelings and then in the thoughts and then in the quality of what you're doing and then in the quality in every moment then what you do and what you have it, it, it it's all come from the place from the beingness it's the quality in your beingness it equals the quality in everything you do and have and the quality we say the feeling the better feeling of whatever you do and have that, that you feel good no matter what what's because it's not depending on anything your well-being it's always there for you it's always there to you, it's going to you and through you, the energy, the vibration, you can feel that when you have something that comes to you and you feel that beautiful vibration or the goosebumps, it's just rising up from, from your toe and all the way up and, and, and you just like know that this is something, there is something there or there is something here. And uh, knowing that all is well, all is good. And there is more to come and you follow up that kind of that feeling the vibration and the and the thoughts that follows up with that feelings it's the next logical step maybe but it's all that is our everything is 
taking place in the moment. That is our gift from our present when we are aware, when we are observing our own vibration, when we are knowing that we are here. We, we are feeling things. We are observing and, and, and we feel well. That's the nature of who we are. And then everything else follows easily and gentle. Easy and gentle. It's such a beautiful thing to know this. So I'm gonna bring me a cup of tea. So I will be back soon. So, just take a deep breath in and out. Let yourself to feel the well-being inside as you're breathing in and breathing out. And be conscious, aware of your breathing. Only focus on your breathing in and breathing out. Feeling the feelings inside as well as you're breathing in and breathing out. Easy and gentle. Scan through your body from the top of your head and all the way down to your feet. And up again from down to your feet and all the way up. And just like be one with that energy you scan through inside of who you are. Inside the energy you, you're observing. All the way up and down in your body. As well as you're breathing in and breathing out. Be conscious aware of your breathing. still continuously breathing in and breathing out. Letting everything be as you're breathing in and breathing out. Letting whatever what comes its way, even thoughts or whatever in feelings, the only thing that you will be observing is your breathing. And as you're breathing in and breathing out and only focusing on your breathing and feeling the feelings inside as well, the natural well-being take place more and more and you're feeling natural the energy arises from within with you be observing you're feeling like oneness in your feeling yes you scan through your whole body and be observing your breathing in and breathing out and feeling the natural flow in your breathing like If you choose to, you can you can do this with your hands, so you can be more aware of your breathing in and breathing out, and like
and more you feel these feelings inside and more you are aware of your breathing in and breathing out, more the natural well-being takes place in your present. That is a gift from our present. That is a gift from our present. You're focusing in the now, in your breathing in and breathing out. And in the now, the natural in energy from all of your body, it's natural in increasing the energy from within. The vibration, you feel it more, it's pulsing more and more. There's nothing you need to do about it or have about it or think about. Your natural well-being of breathing in, breathing out and feeling the feelings inside as well as you breathing in and breathing out will naturally arise your energy from within more and more. As you listen to the sound of the music, as you listen to what I share with my feelings, what in what you're listening to, in what you're observing, in what you look around you, in your senses, your taste, your smell, your feelings, your hearing, your, what you see, and everything else follows in your vibration of well-being, the beautiful feeling equal, the beautiful more feeling thoughts come to you and through you. Everything is a frequency match of who you are in well-being. Every desire is matching up with that well-being. Everything you feel good about matches up with that well-being. The more you are in the state of allowing your beingness to be and noticing it more and more inside and feeling the natural frequency of who you are and the vibration that arises and that energy that moves to you and through you easily and gentle more and more. Now you're more your true nature of who you are and you can just relax into your being, relax into who you are more and more and know that all is well, all is take good taken care of. You can just sit back there, noticing and observing more and more of who you are, the feelings inside the breathing, the natural flow of breathing in and breathing out. As Everything inside the intelligence is working for you. It's do everything for you. They say work, but it's it's energetically connect to you and through you, and, it, and it's it, it and it's give you more and more. Like we don't have to think about breathing in and breathing out. The nature of who we are, breathing in physical form, the natural well-being in this space of observing it increases the na nature of well-being more and more. That is the cooperation with the inside, with noticing, and observing and be conscious aware of it, that it arises more and more the energy from within, more and more, easy and gentle. Nothing you need to do about, nothing you need to have about, nothing you need to say about, nothing you have to overthink about. As well as we know the downstream feeling is always a good feeling and is always flowing easily and gentle. As the emotion as well, they come, they call, they go. But as well as we let it in, letting the emotion be, not try to do anything about it, but let it be, let it flow. Feel the, the breathing in and breathing out, the nature, the natural breathing. Like we know that when we are aware of the breathing, it's easy to let the energy comes to you and through you. Not let anything affecting you, but letting everything allowing you to be and to feel more of the nature of your energy of who you are, the well-being, and how it easily more and more take place in better and better beautiful feeling energy vibration inside. Vibration is like it's, it's coming more and more into who you are, the nature of who you are. And that is our gift from our present, right here, right now. We start now with the next now and the next now. It's the most important. We know also when we are in the present, the focus forward is easy and gentle. We know it's easy to forward focus in the present of who we are. And we also know that the source energy, the love, it's constantly vibrating from within and it's never ending you in the story there. It always flows to you and through you and it's always available for you. It's here, it's now, it's forever and ever more. As long as we observing it more and more, that is our conscious mind, that is our being here and noticing and observing. The cooperation with the inner beingness and the mind come together like one. And the oneness with that energy is arises 
natural well-being to, to more and natural all the, the beautiful things come its way in your experience because when you're feeling good everything outside feels good as well why it's the inside that creates the outside always it's like that very easy and gentle so there is just two aspects there is alignment or misalignment when we are in alignment everything feels good everything we observe feels good everything we are we meet on the road feels good. Every person you meet feels good. Every person you f you feel alignment, everything feels alignment. Everything around you feels alignment. It's like you look at those things and you feel its vibration in your own alignment. And it's reflecting back at you more and more. And you notice that, that well-being is the nature of who you are more and more. Alignment feels alignment. Feels good, feels good. You know, everything is connected and collected. We are not separated, we are in the oneness, in the same source energy that's always streamed to you and through you always, forever and evermore. As more as we are observing or breathing in and breathing out, noticing the energy that flows to you and through you, that there is nothing bad with it or nothing good or say right or wrong, but it is like it is. And as long as we feel it and observe it and breathing in and breathing out, and noticing on more and more on the natural well-being nothing really matters anymore and from that space it increases the energy naturally inside and you will feel the way through more and more the next step the impulses the ideas and the satisfaction and the enthusiasm the acceptance the enjoyment the, all of those good feelings joy fun laughter humor all of those things take place more and more in you, in who you really are. Feel good now is who you really are. We are meant to feel good now and more to come. We came into this physical birth before we came into this physical birth. We are this now, this beautiful energy flows to you and through you. That you can sense more and more inside. Like it arises from top of your head and all the way down to your feet. It's a natural flow. That's forever and ever more be. The beingness is forever and ever more. We know that the beingness is forever and ever more. We cannot think not to be. In human mind, we cannot think not to be. The beingness is forever and ever more. If we cannot imagine not to be, because imagine can take, a logic can take you from A to B, but imagination can take you everywhere. But if you cannot imagine not to be, the being as is forever and ever more, for sure, because that is all is connected and collected, and everything can be imagined. That is why this world is is so many beautiful things created into this world in technology, in in roads, in in cars, in in, in so many things, houses. You can see the difference from now and from hundred years ago. But we are living in the now, we are in the in our present, we don't live in our past. But the past is good to have in the in the present moment activity if there's something that's similar from the from the past, but now you don't remember it from from lack of it, but you remember it in the present of it. You're using in the present of it in the moment when you do something, and then you move on from there. Like you know the well-being is all taken care of. The present moment of all that is. When you're thinking about the future, you're thinking about the past. You're thinking about the past in the now. When you're thinking about the future, you're thinking about the future in the now. Everything takes place in this beautiful present moment now. Now when we are aware of it and noticing a natural well-known. That's why the now, that's, that's who we are. The now when we are observing the well-being. The now when we are breathing in and breathing out and noticing more and more the now and the now it more take place the energy from within to arises more and more and feeling more that relaxed feeling in the now and be just like be relaxed into your pleasure be relaxing who you are and then everything else follows in your thoughts because the vibration from within equal the the thoughts that follows as well the feeling good now have more feeling better thoughts coming your way. The impulses and all those things, the beautiful things, beautiful feelings. And now when you are thinking about the past, and now if you're thinking about the future, now you are well aware of the now, of who you are. 
and it's a more beautiful feeling thoughts to the past and a more beautiful feeling thoughts to the future and a more beautiful feeling thoughts to what you're observing right now inside of who you are and around you. What a beautiful freedom is always available to you now forever and ever more. It's, it's always like that. Love is constantly vibrating from within. What is love? We say love is, is a vibration that is nature. You feel it pulsing of aliveness inside and you feel that love for everything around you and, and for you and for your own creation and for all that you've been asking for and for everything that you observe in, in your consciousness. That you are here, you are now and you are now free and meant to feel good follow your bless you're meant to follow your bless you and and you are meant to feel and have all of those desires you asked for it's good it's all good and to feel for create it's a nature of who we are but to be more well aware of our well-being the non-physical energy it's more important than to create because the creation without a non-physical energy will just be like moving around like a ghost and have no feeling about it just like but with the non-physical energy it's all good we measure when you're aware of it and i would say i will we never judge anyone we never do anything from the space of who who we truly are the non-physical energy, the source energy always stream to you and through you. It's a never judgment there. It's a never ending love, uplifting, giving, sharing story there for you. It's giving you the best all the time. We, we are doing it. We are in that space. We are always giving the best all the time in, in who we really are. From when we are observing and breathing in and breathing out. Observing who we truly are more and more. It's giving its best all the time every present moment. That is our gift from our present. That is our gift from our present to be here and now and to observing it. All is well. And whatever what we are now doing, from thinking about the past, thinking about the future, or being in the now and, and, and looking forward, whatever what we are doing in the well-being, we never look back in lack. We always look forward in present and feeling good and more to come. That is the nature of well-being. That is the natural well-being taking place. So always in the now, when you are feeling more in the now and feeling good now, that is forward focus and forward feelings focus. The feelings improves naturally more and more and you observe more of those things that feels good for you now. Life is good. Life is supposed to feel good and more to come. But suppose it's, 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 it's nature. It's natural. Who we are. So. With that said. Yeah. So we have some beautiful tropical beach sounds, good, good picture. And I will read from, ooh. So, good to be here. Now let's read some, I have some books here and uh, I will read, I will just follow the impulses we have in the getting into the vortex and we have, uh, and just read and let's see where it goes. Also I will uh, be reading the cards 
So everything that comes now to us, it's for us. Now it's that is a gift from our present. What's been coming up, I will just like do this. Just follow the impulses, read some words, and we'll just let it expand on that. Just like now when I'm reading those things, be aware of your feelings, you know. It's like when you hear someone, meditate on the feelings behind that, what's been said. Because the energy, it's always, that is the most important in when you say something. It's not what you say when you say it, it's how you feel when you say it. It's not when you taste, when you taste it, it's how you feel when you taste it. It's like the observation, the senses, when you're feeling all of these things in your senses and feeling good in that, that is what's... Um, say important but that is the natural well-being that that comes to place and to let you know that that's who you are and there is more to come and that is the nature for you to feel more and more every single day so now when there is sounds and there's things been reading here feel the feelings and observe and you can breathing in and breathing out as well and as i'm reading those um, uh, sentences from this these books and also with the cards we will we will have the cards that is perfect for us, for everyone who's here listening now. It will be perfect for you because it's you are observing and you are hearing it with your song. You are translated with your vibration, with your with what you're hearing and what you're feeling. So that is for you. If you're here, you've been attracted. If you say we, you've been in a frequency match of what you asked for, and now you're here and listening to it, and it is coming into your experience, and now you can. And when you move further from there, or if I say further from here, now in our presence, it's more to be aware of, it's more to observe, it's more feeling good coming to you and through you, the nature. Yeah, that's how it, how the, the source energy works. It never stops, it's just moving to you and through you. It's just like the water, whatever what comes its way, it's, there is a fallen tree over the water and, and, and it's... Um, the water finds its way through it and uh, still going down, it's still moving, it never stops. It finds its way in some way or another to move from the, from the river. So, let's see. So this is from the page 28 and uh, it's from uh, Meditation General Wellbeing, page 28 from the book Getting into the Vortex, Guide and Meditation. Okay, so I'm going to read those things. So as you listen to our words, as you listen to our words and remember who you are, you will rediscover your natural, natural vibrational patterns of well-being. Each day you will find more clarity, more stamina and more eagerness. Each day you will remember who you are and why you have come. You have picked up your vibrational resistance to well-being gradually as you have been moving along your physical trail and your releasing of these resistance will be gradual as well. The better and better feeling path to the freedom of no resistance is a progressive one and each day and each new day will be more productive than the day before. Therefore, a consistent listening to a recording is of tremendous value to you if you will make a decision to let your singular conscious intention be to focus upon your breathing several several natural benefits will begin to emerge during the first month of this daily meditation process during your first several segments of listening to the recording it will be normal of your mind to drift away from your attention to your breathing and on to some vibrational active aspects of your life even the words that we are speaking on the recording may stimulate a resistant fault within you but after a few days of relaxing and breathing, you will begin to feel the ease of a quieter mind. And the process of simply breathing will begin to feel inviting and beneficial to you. 
because of your willingness to focus upon your breathing and in doing so to deactivate what have been resistant thoughts the words on the recording will move into the foreground and you will begin to feel a striking awareness of the power of these words not because the words are becoming clearer but because your reception of them is becoming clearer each day you will find more clarity more ease more eagerness more awareness more vitality more stamina more fun more interest more good timing and more harmonious rendezvous with ideas circumstances events and others each day you will come into greater vibrational alignment with your natural state of well-being <sighs> a beautiful message so always when you are aware uh, listening listening with your feelings paying attention from within as you hear some words speaking if you hear some people have something to share always having a little bit pay attention to your feelings inside as well as your breathing and notice your natural well-being how it is for help for you to understand more of what's been said what's been uh, and also understanding that for the other people, when you are in the vibrational well-being and you listen to someone, they feel it. Everyone feel it. Because that's who they are. As you listen to your words and remember who you are, you will rediscover your natural vibrational patterns of well-being. So when you are in the, in the moment of, of listening from your well-being, in that is your gift from your present, you give that gift to others' presence as well. You give that gift to other people as well. They're listening and, 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 and they're sharing and they feel your presence. And it's easy for other people to share as well because they feel you're here, you're now. They feel you're aware of, of, of them. You're, you're, you know this, their, their energy. You, you are there with them in, in the presence of who you are. There is no resistance to, to them. They don't feel any of those things. That is the natural well-being. When you're feeling well with yourself, People don't feel this um, resistant from you. So the natural well-being will be an influence for other people to open up more. Their influence of, of being well-being. Because it's the nature of all of us. We all love to, to, to feel good now and better and better. That's a natural desire we all have inside of ourselves. Because when now when we, when we start listening to, to use the words and speaking words, all of us in and the whole humanity desire to feel good and more to come it's natural it's it's the nature of all of us it's so good it's so connected and collected it's so in who we are so and it's it's good it's free it's open and it's for all of us it's not depending on anything you do or have or whatever you've been doing in the past or whatever you've been what you're thinking about the future in the now it's always present of who you are and it's always loving you and caring about you and supporting you and uplifting you it really doesn't care about what's been going on in, in the past it's always in the now and present in the present and forward focus so it's really it's in the vibrational for you to feel more and more of who you are to feel good now all humanity deserve it because we all have been coming forth into this physical birth for experiencing more and more to feel good now and more to come so what is my job what is your your job we say well, there is no job we will say just to feel good as long as we feel good that is the influence that is for self to be selfish enough to tell ourselves the most important for me is to feel good when i feel good it's easy for other people to come into that vibrational frequency match to that and connect and come into one and start by themselves to feel good for themselves as well and so good but it's all to be selfish enough to say the most important for me is to feel good when i feel good when i'm in the present that is a gift from my present when i'm aware i know i'm here i'm now i know i feel good now you are natural beautiful influence for other people to, to do, this, do the same for them so and uh, yeah freedom let's see
Time goes fast, it's fun. We have a lot of fun. Let's read from the Money and the Law of Attraction book. So I'm just gonna read some sentences and also it's gonna, it's fun, this is fun. Let's see what is come up. So always pay attention when you're listening to something. Pay attention with your feelings as well. A little bit of attention from within as you're just breathing in and breathing out and be conscious aware of not how the sound sounds in mind, but how the sound sounds in your feelings and in your mind as one. Well. As you are just like, you're not only thinking with your thinking, you are feeling and thinking with your whole body. You are feeling and observing with your whole body. You are connecting everything with your whole energy from within. You're observing with all of who you are, the energy from within as you're breathing in, breathing out, as you do the meditation as well. You are taking everything in and feeling the natural well-being and then listening. It's a different vibration there and a different way of, of, of new perspective of how you listen to, to, to things around you as well. It's good. It's all for us and talk. But the most important, it's what feels best for you, feels best for you. That is the most thing, you know. Always follow your list. Always follow that feels best for you. I can say many things here, many things, many options and many, many ways of doing things but it really doesn't matter it's all about how you feel what feels best for you that is the most important so follow yourself let's see so you say jen hi jen hi scott so good to see you all here that's who i see now here on the screen So now, the Money Love Attraction books, let's see what's coming up for us here. Oh, there we go. Ah. Planting fear seeds does grow more fear. Okay, Jerry, uh, Jerry asking, uh, Jerry asking Abraham. So Jerry, a dear friend, my mentor in business, volunteered to be a part of a medical study. He said, said that he even thought he was in brilliant health. He was willing to participate if it could be of value to others because so many men his age in that area were dying from a certain disease. Well, it seems like only a matter of weeks before we received a message from him that he had been di diagnosed with the illness and now he's no longer in physical form. But he didn't seem to have a fear of the disease. Did he create it in his body by morally focusing on it? Abraham answering Jerry for that question. It was his attention to it. In other words, it was his intent to be of value for others. And so he allowed them to probe and poke and look. And in the probing and poking and looking, he received enough stimulation of thought from the others to make him aware of the possibility. Not only the possibility, the prob probability. They planted, with, uh, they planted within him the seed of prob probability and then with the probing and the poking and the looking his body responded to what then became the balance of his thought. It is a wonderful example that you have offered because that disease was not within him until the attention to the disease was within him. Hmm. Oh, it's good. That feels good. It, I will read it one more time. I got it. Beautiful goosebumps there. It was, what do you see? It was a wonderful example that I offered because that disease was not within, within him until the attention to the disease was within him. But once the attention to the disease was within him, then his body responded in kind. The potential for wellness or illness is always within you. The thoughts you choose determine which you experience and to what degree you experience it beautiful wow so from it's always the attention from the illness that create more illness but when you get out of ahead of it and, and more aware of your wellness because that is the true nature of who we are that is when things take place more and more for you to feel good and better and better and then the illness is there is no illness because you don't hold your attention to the lack of who you are, you're holding attention of who you really are, the well-being. And it's always available for us. It's not depending on, on what, what, what's happening to you, you know, what's going on inside of you, yeah, or what's going on in your thoughts. 
the well-being is always available. So immediately when as you breathing in and breathing out, um, and and feeling your own well-being in some way or another, and and, and having a better feeling thoughts, there is just wellness in that vibration, and then the illness is no more and it's gone. So. For my own example, I, I will tell I had an experience when I was in, working with my uh, father last uh, last year on the in the, the ocean, and I do this process as well. I was breathing in, breathing out. Uh, I was asking because I was in the place I didn't sleep so much. Uh, you know, I had a uh, I will not go back there. It's good. So I was not so well in my. I didn't sleep so much. I I was feeling tired. My 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 brain my head was not working so much i was tired all the time and then i was come to a place but it's the thoughts about my tiredness that create not holding my attention to the tiredness and holding my attention to that that created more tiredness but immediately i was just in the moment i was working with him and, and I, I i decided just breathing in and breathing out the exact same processes we do here and then just like asked very gentle and easy from a place of my own well-being i was just like I, I just love to feel good. I desire for feeling good, you know. Can you help me with that? And I asked from a, a from a well being from it, not from a lack of. I was like, I just love to feel good, you know. I want to feel energized. Uh, I, will, I love to feel uh, that I'm I'm effective and productive, and that I I am aware and I'm aware of everything around me, and I'm present and feel awake and full of of energy. And I was just breathing in and breathing out. I'm feeling my energy from the top of my head and all the way down to the feet. And then something comes to me and through me in a thought, in a better feeling thoughts to me. A person who's not here anymore, but he, he was a very, a very special person in non-physical energy to show there is nothing, everything is, a, is, is you know, you can't be, do and have anything and everything you desire for. Absolutely, and he came into my vibration and in my feeling false and said, "You know how this is working out." And immediately, when I hear that those words, because I was listening, I was paying attention, because this was not me saying it, but those things was received from my well-being. And immediately, when I was aware of what been said to me, the vibration started to arise from within, from all the way down to my feet and all the way up and above. And immediately. The wellness and the well-being take place now i'm feeling beautiful goosebumps and it's a confirmation of this is working out immediately okay so immediately when this happening you know this was this was the process and the energy arises and and, and going from within and, and all the way down and, and, up, and up and about i felt very good again and then again i my work was much better i felt more aware i felt felt there was a shift and transformation in my energy and there was no tiredness or sickness or any of those things and i didn't have in my mind in that anymore because it shifted and transforms my feelings was feeling so good and better and immediately when i felt my own alignment i get more aligned thoughts to me as well when i was thinking about anything so there is only wellness in who we are immediately when it takes place when we ask and we ask from our well-being of who we are we ask from the natural well-being of who we are the well-being will set forth an emotion or a motion for you to to or a momentum for you to to get what you ask for so that was taking place right away in that moment and i didn't feel more tired like that ever never and that's how the well-being is it's just a natural flow of ease and gentleness and love and compassion and, and and giving you the best all the time it's not depending on what's going on in your past or what's been going on for for a longer time but immediately when you ask it is given in your well-being it will right away take place in your in the in the in your asking in your well-being and then starting the process for you to feel better and better and better and then it really doesn't matter Tiredness is not in your mind. You're in your mind. It's just like there is just so much more love and more to observe and more to feel, more feeling of your senses, more feeling of things around you. So I gave you an example of my own experience. But I know it's like 
you know, always when you ask from well-being, always when you ask from who you truly are, and you know this thing as we do in the process of meditation, always when you ask, things are taking place from your well-being. But asking is given, always. So, what else? In the vortex, let's see. Time goes fast, it's so fun. The vortex, let's see what's coming up for us here. There we go. Assemble. This is the this is the message from all corporate components are being assembled. So let us say that you are using whatever as your excuse not to be a vibrational match to who you are. And you're using your guidance system. That's what your emotions are. Your emotion your emotions are your indicator. The better you feel, the more you close the gap between you and you. The worse you feel, the more you widen widen in the gap between you and you. If you are chronically complaining and not feeling good, it means you are trained yourself into a vibration that just won't let life get really good for you. So you say, well, I got a lot to complain about. And we say, we imagine you do, because when you train yourself into a complaining vibration, the well-being is hindered by your habit of thought. So then you say, well, how do I untrain myself? And we say, by reaching as often as you can, consciously and deliberately, for the best thought about the active subject that you can find from where you are. By reaching for the best of it, rather than the worst of it, by breathing the drum, by beating the drum of the wouldn't it be nice if, instead of breathing the drum of wouldn't it be awful if, by beating the drum of I really like this about that instead of the drum of what I really don't like about that is. If we can somehow convince you that you are source energy, vibration that is powerfully calling you to the well-being that you deserve, and if you will listen to the call of that source and vibrational feel for it, and vibrational feel for it, And listen and move consistently in the direct direction of the thoughts that feel better. You will, before you know it, close the vibrational gap between you and you on every subject that's active within you. And you will then be joyous, progressive, fulfilled, intuitive, intuitive loving, vital, exhilarated being that you were born to be. It isn't a hard thing once you understand the way it all works. In other words, if you take away from this gathering only the understanding that you are source energy and that when you are here in this physical body, if you're not letting yourself vibrate, vibrate in alignment with who you really are, you're just not going to feel good. Ah, so good. So good. So many beautiful message here. I, I recommend to, to people who to to who people who are here. You can you can go back and listen to this again. You know, say to the whole call, to this whole uh, Facebook Live. It's many beautiful message here for us. But also for encourage other people to listen if there's something for there for them, maybe. But if you're feeling the impulse for, for sharing this, do. It's all good. It's all for you and to you. So now I'm, I'm going to read from Ask and it's given. Let's see what's coming up there. I'm just filling it out. And there we go. I'm just going to read some sentences. Mm. The process. Yeah, so I'm gonna let's see the cards. That's good. Process eighteen. It's um, the asking is given book here, and it's um, process eighteen in the book. Finding the feeling place. This is a beautiful process. When to use this process? 
when you want to improve a situation, when you want more money, when you want a better job, when you want a happier relationship, when you want a better feeling body. Current emotional set point range. This finding the feeling place process will be of the most value to you when your emotional set point is ranging somewhere between 9 pessimism and 17 anger. If you are not sure what your current emotional set point is, turn back to chapter 22 and scan the 22 categories on the emotional guidance scale. Because you are generally giving much more attention to the aspects of your life that you are living right now, whatever you are living is carrying, carrying a more vibrational weight, so to speak, than what you are desiring or imagining. In other words, if you have a desire to be slender even though you are considerab considerably, considerably, considerably overweight at the moment, the aspects of your now experience are probably outweighing the vibration of your visualizations. Often people will say, I'm not happy over here. I wish I could be over there. But when, I, but when asked what it is about over there that they desire, usually they will just explain to you what is wrong with being over here. Even for they use words such as, I want to be over there or I want what is over there. Their vibration is much more about over here, where they now stand, than about where they want to be. As in our earlier gas gauge, gauge, gauge example of how unhelpful it would be for you to put a happy face sticker on your dashboard to cover the empty tank indicator. In like manner, there is no value in using happy sounding words if you do not feel happy. The law of attraction is not responding to your words, but instead is responding to the vibration that are radi radiating from you. It is quite possible for you to use all the right sounding words at the same time what you are in a state of power powerful resistance to your own well-being. For their words you, you use are not important. How you feel is what matters. How you feel is what matters. Defining the feeling place process is most helpful in making sure that you are radiating a vibration that, you, that will serve you. For this is a process that will help you realize what you are actually attracting. It is one of using your imagination to pretend that your desires has already come about and that you are now living the details of that desire. As you focus upon what it feels like to be living your desire, you cannot at the same time be feeling the absence of your desire. So with practice, you can tip the scale, so to speak, so that even though your desire has not yet actually manifested, you are offering a vibration as if it has, and then it must. Again, the universe does not know if you are offering your vibration because you are living what you are living or because you are imagining that you are living it. In either case, it answers the vibration and the manifestation must follow. It answers the vibration and the manifestation must follow. For example, let us say that you go to your mailbox and you find a second notice of another unpaid bill and as you open the envelope you feel very uncomfortable because right now you do not know how you are going to pay it. This bill is already overdue and there is a several other overdue bills, so you feel overwhelmed and discouraged. I want more money, you say. I want a lot of money, you say, with even more emphasis. emphasis. But you are offering empty, hollow words that have no impact on your point of attraction whatsoever because your words are not your point of attraction. Your point of attraction is your practice, vibrational offering, and the way you feel is the real indicator of what your point of attraction is. Right now you are pulsing with emotion that clearly match your, your state of not having enough money. Your goal 
in this process is to conjure, conjure image that causes you to offer a vibration that allows money. Your goal is to create image, image that feel good to you. Your goal is to find a feeling place of what it would be like to have enough money rather than, find, rather than finding the feeling place of what it is like not have enough money. Now, you could remember a time when you had more money or even a time when you or even a time when even thought you did not necessarily, necessarily have more money. At least you were not feeling the stress of too many bills. And when you find that memory, try to remember as many detail, details as possible in order to try to feel it even more. You could pretend that you have more money than you have any sensible use for. Pretend that you have so much money you do not know where to keep it all. And imagine you have tons of it in the pantry and under the bed. See yourself going to the bank with buckets of change that you are converting to dollar bills. See yourself taking $5, $10 or and $20 bills and having them converted to $100 bills just for sake of more efficient storage. You could pretend that you have a credit card with an unlimited balance that is easily paid, a sort of magic card that you use several times every day because it is very efficient. And then, once a month, you casually write a check that pays for all of the charge you have incurred. Pretend that the radio of your money in the bank to this month's credit card balance is too great that paying the bill is inconsequential to your experience to your experience. The more often you play the finding the feeling place process, the better you feel, the better you will be at playing it. The more you often play this finding the feeling place process, the better you will be at playing it and the more fun it will become when you pretend or selectively remember you will activate a new vibrations and your point of attraction shifts shifts and when your point of attraction shifts your life will improve regarding every subject for which you have found a new feeling place beautiful so that's it i i'm gonna really read the cards tomorrow it's gonna be a bonus day tomorrow reading the cards tomorrow is so much fun so much fun we're having two days bonus this week you know it's good expansion <laughs> so good it feels so good to share and it feels so good to read those words perfect perfect for all of us of all of us who is here is who's now listening to this who now this is your attraction this is what now you listening to this and you observing it it's your vibration you know it's your match to you to your feelings to more to come it's it's our match you know we 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 get what we ask for and we always do whatever if we ask from lack of it or we ask for uh, the best of it we always get what we ask for but what's so amazing is that the, the positive aspects of who you are it's hundred thousand with a million billions more powerful and the, than the negative say why it is so why is it so because the nature of your well-being is so the nature of who you truly are is positive, is in the feeling good now and it's meant to feel good now and more to come. It's the expansion of, of all of who you are. So it's, of course, it's more influence and, 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 and the lack of it because that is not the nature of who you are. So therefore, when there is one person who has this vibration of the well-being coming to a place and there is, say, 100, 200, 1,000 people who's negative, but that really, that doesn't happen, you know. It's yeah, you don't meet those people in say in the same. But but now it's just giving an example. You they cannot, and uh, what to say. You you will naturally be affected by it. You will naturally be influenced, not affected. You will naturally be influenced by that. Why will people be influenced by that? It's the nature of who you truly are. It's the nature of who you are. It's the nature of all of us. And all humanity it's not only me it's not only you it's everyone you see in human form is that energy is that 
source energy that flows to you and through you and to them and through them all the time and to us as well you know it's it's energy uh, connected and collected like oneness with all that is and and that energy natural influence and what's so beautiful about it is you don't thinking about it if you want to influence other people you just being it and then move on and then follow your bliss feeling good and, and move on and and whatever what you do it really doesn't matter anymore you just enjoy because there is no because I do this because of that or because I have this now because there is no because in in the in this in this uh, present of of your gift here and now the present is your is a is your gift the gift is in in our present uh, you don't need anything it's just unfold in its natural way of feeling good now and more to come it is in all of us so as long as we just because we can always start right here right now we clean sheet of paper and start refreshed as we're waking up in the morning and by intending to and set segment intending and and do things i would say having fun feeling good and then set the day forth with you know meditation we meditate for 50 minutes and start the day from from there it will be more and more like it meant to be like who you are so <sighs> that was it that was it one hour love you guys so much there was a one hour class today bonus day but we're gonna have a um, bonus day tomorrow so let's see if we can tune in some people some fun people and and see if there's someone who love to have a conversation we expand on these cards tomorrow and having a beautiful conversation and uh yeah there is more to come always always there is always 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 more to come in feeling good now and it's meant to be like that more and more and more and you decide and deserve it all and it is your desire to to have whatever you want to be do and have and to feel good through the whole process and follow your bliss feeling good and and enjoy every aspect of life, every subject and everything you you observe you're conscious aware of it's meant for you to be feeling good through the process of it most of it and yeah it's all good it's all well so love you guys so much and uh, Enjoy your day. Thank you so much, Pauline. I see you, Pauline. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read some message before I end this. It's so good. So many comments here. Let's see. It's a double bonus bonus weekend. Yes, Jen. Maybe you can join me tomorrow. Or Dave. Maybe we can be three of us, four of us. You know, it's all open and free. And say bonus day, so awesome, and it just gets better and better and better. It's so much fun. Thank you, thank you. You're so welcome, Pauline, and love you too. Love you too. Love you all so much. Uh, there is, uh, there is so, there is so much fun in this Facebook live, and there is so much beautiful expansion right here in the moment. Immediately in the moment, you know, it's, uh, it's just, it's just impulses and good feeling thoughts and feelings, words coming through. And it's beautiful to just feel it out and then move on. So tomorrow as well, we're going to have a bonus. So let's see. There is going to be some fun people on that. I can feel that. I swear to some great people, as always, there is in this Facebook Live. We will be more people speaking together and having more conversation about this expansion of who we are. And we we reading the cards tomorrow. We're going to have a lot of fun about that. See where it goes and see what's coming for what we ask for you know they, those cards is just so amazing the abraham hicks cards they are uh, yeah they are just like who we are the feeling good now and more to come so love you so much guys and see you tomorrow enjoy your day <laughs>